Hello, I'm David Hammond. I'm an architect. Um, we live here on Osney Island on the banks of the Thames. Hi, I'm Barbara Hammond. I'm, I work for the government for the chief scientific advisor, Sir David King. And we'd like to tell you about our house and the refurbishment we've done. This is a photograph of what it looked like um, quite close to the beginning of the contract. Uh, we had to strip pretty much everything out um, and we lived through quite a lot to make it happen. We're both uh, very interested in sustainable issues and we thought this project was uh, a great chance to demonstrate that a lot of different technologies could be brought together, n not necessarily new ones at all. And here we are on the south side of the house now. Unfortunately, the sun's gone in, but uh, you can see in the distance uh, PVs on top of the studio which are generating electricity. The thermal collectors up there, seven and a half square meters, which are uh, feeding into the thermostor for domestic hot water and contributing towards the heating. And the sun space glazing, which is warming up that side of the house in winter. The things we did with the refurbishment were, some of them fairly obvious, we first of all insulated the place as well as we could, so the existing brick walls we battened out, about four inches, put a lot of insulation in, and then dry lined the walls. We've used underfloor heating on all three levels. Part of the refurbishment of the house involved digging up the road here, and you can see the line in the road where we've got a couple of pipes a metre down that take in water, pumped water from the river, underneath the road to the back of the house to a heat pump, which is a bit of kit used to heat the underfloor heating and provide domestic hot water. The water returns through another pipe and is discharged back out of the river a couple of degrees lower. So all these things we brought together in one house, it's, uh, we saw it as an opportunity to do these things together um, and to demonstrate to other people that it can be done and um, quite frankly I think a lot of house builders should be using these technologies, they're there, there are grants available for them and we think people should be doing it. David's told you about the sort of technologies that we've been trying to demonstrate in our house. Uh, we're also working with a group called the Osney Sustainable Island Group to see what opportunities there are for putting technologies in place for the wider community, West Oxford community, the Osney Island community. And one of the possibilities is um, a micro hydro scheme which would run off the um, River Thames and we would put in a turbine at this sluice gate here to generate enough electricity for 50 houses. We think that these sort of technologies are a fundamental part of the way that Oxford needs to evolve. We've got a city which has a world profile, uh, which has stunning buildings that have been here for centuries. We want Oxford to start living on its future rather than being known for its past. Mm, doing things like bringing back the electric buses powered up by PVs on the station roof, things like that. This building here is a prime example of the sort of thing that we're talking about. It used to be the power station for this part of Oxford, town gas power station. Now it's the University Engineering Laboratory and we think that it could become a power station again if we had solar pa panels on all of those vast roofs and walls. Oxford's not leading, it's not, being a, it's not at the cutting edge on any of these things now, and we think it should be, and there's an enormous amount of wealth and ta talent that we can harness to, to do that.